This level started with just experimenting with the field of view of the camera. It's kind of, it's a lot more extreme and more kind of fish-eyed, fish-eyed lens than any other level in the game. And once that was in, I was like, well, this is very much like vertigo, you know, like a, you get this feeling of vertigo from being high and seeing the ground below you. So that's when I tried to make the design be like this, you know, the sides of the building or a skyscraper as you're going up. So yeah, and we ended up motivate that. Yeah, we ended up doing it on the inside, kind of of the hotel, sort of in a, a kind of an atrium or a courtyard. In theory, we invented these bouncers. This was actually the first place in the game that that we had used. In this case, an awning, but anything that would bounce sly upwards, and really started to tune and, and play with that gameplay about you know, how high should they each bounce and what's the right amount to give the player control while he's in the air. And really the combination, I think, of the unique camera angles and a huge amount of, of bouncing on things and jumping up and down on things really kind of defines the concept for this level. It presents some, some good challenges. Once it, it sort of took on this retro feel, yeah. kind of playing like a 2D side scroller. Um, our producers at Sony even you know, kind of took us to task once or twice about how retro that felt. Um, but so, but the, the retro feel also had a big impact on the kinds of NPCs we could use in this level. Oh, definitely. Because um, you needed a, an NPC that could work well in a really combined space. And in fact, the original design for the ball and chain NPC had him swinging the ball in the wrong hand for this level. And we had to change him so that he would be comfortable with his right side up against walls. From a secondary standpoint, I thought that the, the introduction of the air conditioners was a good idea because it was this sort of skill element that required you to uh, pay attention. And, right. Uh, it was one of the few really leftover in terms of mechanics from some early, early designs for the game where you had these things called break falls where you would, you know, it was like the air conditioners where each one you hit it would fall away, so it was very much the environment's kind of getting destroyed and your, your choices are getting limited as you're going, so you have to do it, you know, pretty much do it right the first time. Yeah, the stealth sections, these were some of the, the earlier uh, sections to use the duck and, and to use cameras fairly heavily. Um, I thought pretty successfully in this case, you know, you get some different looks that yeah. you see elsewhere in the game. And the last section in the, in the bedrooms, sort of the, uh, the bouncers go up through the ceilings, which was kind of a fun change. Um, gave us some real sense of three-dimensionality as you kind of pass through the floors. It was, it was a fun change. And then the big finish, the precarious big finish, <laughs> where you have to sneak out, well, out onto the sign. I don't know, all in all, a pretty successful level.